Hello everyone. Now that we have seen how we can perform a very simple program for Arduino, let's try to understand one very important tool that you're going to need throughout the experimentation. Not only for this course, but for the future courses or future trainings or future projects, whatever you do, you're going to need breadboard for sure. So, if you know how to use breadboard very well, then you can definitely skip this video. But if you don't know breadboard in detail or if you have some doubts, then I would say please stick to this. So, let's continue. A breadboard is basically a small board made up of plastic and has some metallic interconnections and a lot of holes. So, as you can see, this is how a breadboard looks like whenever you buy it from a store or whenever you have it in your hand so it weighs or it measures a little bit more than a regular mobile phone or a smartphone and it usually comes in plastic as well as also comes in some number of different colors if you need as you can see the breadboard is having a number of different holes onto it a lot of holes actually and why these holes are there these holes are there to insert electronic components into them and perform some circuit now the major purpose of breadboard itself is to create a circuit without needing to create a pcb for it so you just insert component into it perform the connections and a circuit is done now let's see how the breadboard is arranged so whatever number of holes you see in this one lens how many are them one two three four five so all these vertical five holes only these five holes are shorted with each other what i mean to say is this point is electrically connected to the next point and next point and next point and next all five points are electrically internally connected to each other but this connection has nothing to do with the interconnections of these five holes and these five holes and entire rest of the breadboard. So only these five holes are interconnected with each other. So similarly, we have interconnection of five holes of number of such vertical lines as you can see. So let's call them columns. All the columns are vertically shorted with each other and let's call these rows each row is also having group of five holes and all of them are shorted with each other but as you can see there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there are total ten five row or five hole groups in breadboard the horizontal short is such that the first hole is shorted with second, third, fourth and fifth as well as the entire group is shorted with the second group, it is shorted with the third group, fourth group as well as fifth group. So from this point onwards up to this point here all of the pins are shorted and then there is a break and from this point up to this point all of them are shorted so the connection has to be made considering these shorts so all these horizontal lines are con internally connected this way so the red line shows all of them are interconnected with each other similarly this is parallelly interconnected the horizontal line there is no interconnection between them similarly the lines arranged in the bottom side of the breadboard are also connected as we discussed the vertical lines are also internally connected and there is a break at this point so there is no interconnection from this point and this point so what a breadboard has vertical shorts and horizontal shorts and these shorts are used to make an interconnection between some components. Now, if you just look at this diagram, you can see this register is connected from this point to this point. And in the exact same line of this point, we have connected a wire, which again goes back to this point, connects another register. Then this register comes here. Then comes an LED and then LED comes here. 
so the circuit we have created is one resistor then second resistor and then an led all of them in series in this way you can use breadboard to create any kind of circuit that you want prepare most uh, Happenly, what you do is you interface the LEDs or switches or resistors or number of different sensors which you need to interface with Arduino into the breadboard and then using the single pin male to male or male to female connectors you can interconnect them with each other. So either you can use the male to male connector or most popularly we use this kind of the single stand wires they are also called as single stand cables. But nowadays, instead of single stand cable, the male to male connectors are preferred because the single stand cable tend to get cut by stucking into this hole, thereby making that hole completely useless. So now let's say this is a connection. So pin number one of the IC is connected to this point of resistor and LED like this. The distance between these two notches it's so that the smallest dip ic's which are like dip 8 ic's or even dip 4 optocoupler ic's can be easily inserted in between them if you have larger ic's of course you can insert them by adjusting somewhere i hope it would be clear for you how to use breadboard this is how we are going to use breadboard with arduino by connecting eight different leds as you can see, what we have done here in this circuit is all of the rows are shorted with each other by giving a short jumper over here so that the cathodes of all the LEDs are shorted together and then given to ground of Arduino. The anodes come with a register to each pin of Arduino so that we can get connected with the Arduino by connecting all the eight LEDs at the same time so you have to perform this and many such experiments now and onwards so just get uh, comfortable with Arduino thanks for watching this video